Hey everyone, it's Amy. Today I'll be doing a review on Madame Glam Gel Polishes. This is my first time using Madame Glam Polishes. I've been eyeing them for a while. I finally got my hands on some. I actually won these six polishes from an Easter contest they had, so I'm so excited to test these out. So when I received my package of my Madame Glam Gel Polishes, they came in a decent sized box. It's probably about as big as all these together and inside the box it was like a foam insert and then they were all laying nicely in the foam insert just perfectly packaged. I thought it was definitely a unique package compared to some of the other sites I bought off of. For example, like the Fun Lacquer polishes, they each come in an individual box and then they usually, at least the ones that I've gotten, they'll put them in the bubble wrap envelopes. Another one that I have ordered from Etsy is the MDJ Creations. She just bubble wraps them and then puts them in a bubble wrap envelope as well and mails them off. So I definitely thought it was a unique packaging. So this is what their regular bottles look like. I really love that the top has a swatch of it. So you can see what the color is. This one here is Royal Blue. This one here is Dream Diamonds. And it's a beautiful blue holographic polish. And there's some finer glitter and some chunkier glitter. I'm in love with this. The packaging the color and this third one I have here is purple sky it's a beautiful dark purple with some purple sparkles in it purple is my favorite color so I saw this on the website and I had to have it this one here is that's romance and it's this kind of dark teal color and this one changes to a lime green this one here is Mamma Mia, and this is a glitter purple, and it changes to a glitter pink. And this last one I have here is called Inside Out, and this one changes from a yellow to kind of a coral color. So here are the swatches I did of the polishes. Royal Blue, Purple Sky, Dream Diamond, and these three are the color changing. So that's Romance, Mamma Mia, and Inside Out. So these are what they look like at room temperature. And I'll go ahead and show you the difference in the hot and the cold. So here I have a bowl of cold water and a bowl of warm water. So I'll go ahead and show you what the color changing polishes look like in both the warm and the cold. So they're going to be these three, Inside Out, Mamma Mia, and that's Romance. And this is what they are at room temperature here. If we go ahead and put them in the warm water. It's a bright yellow, bright pink, and neon green. Look how bright that green is. It's amazing. I'll go ahead and put it back in the cold. Back to the pink, purple, and blue. It's a pretty big change, I would say. I have some color changing polishes from Kira Sky, and they're very slight. Um, it goes from like a dark pink to lighter pink, but it's a very slight change. These ones are a big change. Like, look at that difference. I'm gonna have so much fun using these polishes. These polishes are going to be very fun for the summertime, but you can also use them year round because they do have the darker colors that go to the light. So they're really versatile. You can use them year round. It will definitely be fun playing around doing some designs on top of them and then seeing the change. I'll insert a picture here. I did one in Easter themed one with a Kira Sky Gel polish, so that was fun doing the design on top of the color changing polish. 
So I found that the color changing polishes have do two different bottles, which is very interesting. If I'm correct, I think this is the newer packaging. They're switching all their color changing polishes to this type of packaging, which is very sleek, matte. It has the color range on the outside. And this is, I believe, their old packaging, which just has the room temperature swatch on top. There's things I like about each packaging. I like that this one shows me the range in it. It shows me what it changes to. But I do like this one because it does have that pretty swatch on the top. So the regular polishes are 15 milliliters while the gel are 10 milliliters. They, I believe they are the same price. I will put here on the screen what each was as of price. And I honestly love the consistency of this polish. It's a little bit thicker, which I like in a gel polish. I find that some of them, especially the ones like IBD, are very runny. And I have a very hard time using these. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not the biggest fan of those ones. They do have a good color range, though. Um, the consistency of the Madame Glam does remind me of the Kira Sky polishes because these are a little bit thicker in consistency and both of them I find apply very smoothly, very pigmented. Compared to some of the lighter gelish polishes, like this yellow one I have, which is doo this one I find you have to have at least three coats to get a good full coverage. I find that with the Madame Glam polishes, they're almost a one coater. I'll kind of show you the swatch of the polishes, so I'll be using the Royal Blue here to show you. So here's what the brush looks like. It's a little bit on the wider side, which I don't mind gives more of a coverage. And even though you have to have the thinner coats for the gel, look how pigmented that is. That is a one coater. It's amazing. Even the color changing ones apply very nicely. flip it around here. I'll show you the swatch for inside out. Again, got that wider brush. Um, this shorter bottle here, the handle's a little bit shorter, so it's kind of stubby, but it's not too bad. I've used sh stubbier polish brushes. So you can see on this one, Actually, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but this one is a little bit sheer in some spots. But overall, it's pretty close to a one coater. I can show you compared to the consistency of the gelish polish. So this one here is Turtle Bay. I'm sorry, the IBD, not gelish. So their brushes are a little bit thinner, and you can already kind of see in the brush that's more like a jelly polish. See how thin that is? It'd probably work well, again, using it as a jelly polish, putting it over another coat. The colors do build up, but you have to do at least two, maybe three coats of some of these IBD and gelish polishes. And again, I do like the thicker consistency because I feel like the thicker consistency of the gels really stay put where you apply the polish. 
I find that some of the runnier ones, you have to work quickly with them. Um, I mean, you really have to put them on quickly, get them in, and cure them. Otherwise, they will start running. You'll get them in the cuticle more easily. Of course, with gel polish, it's just a pain to get it out of the cuticle once it's cured. I find that some of the runnier ones, you have to work quickly with them. Um, I mean, you really have to put them on quickly, get them in, and cure them. Otherwise, they will start running. You'll get them in the cuticle more easily. Of course, with gel polish, it's just a pain to get it out of the cuticle once it's cured. I did do this design here with two of the Madame Glam polishes. The Royal Blue, and then I did the Glitter Gradient with the Dream Diamond. So here's a closer look at this. Keep an eye out because I will be having a tutorial on how to do this. And here's the thumb. But they came out really cute. So thank you so much to Madame Glam for sending me these polishes. I was super excited to win these polishes and try them out. I'm in love with them. They're some of the best gel polishes I have tried. I am definitely going to go back, purchase some more regular ones, definitely some more color changing ones. I did see that Madame Glam has a newer one similar to the, the old school Sally Hansen Crackle. They have, I don't think they call it Crackle, I think it's a marbling effect polish. That one looks fun, but it reminded me of the old school Sally Hansen Crackle polishes. I'm not even sure if they make those anymore. That's an old bottle I've had forever. But I give Madame Glam two thumbs up. I have nothing negative to say about Madame Glam's gel polishes. They're great. Definitely go check them out. I'll leave a link to the website down below. Thanks for watching my review on Madame Glam gel polishes. And we'll see you next time. I say, oh,